welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm doing a master bedroom tour, which I was putting off for ages because I wanted it to be perfect before doing it. And I was chatting to guys on like Instagram and stuff, and I've been filming in this room a lot lately. A lot of you guys wanted to see around it, and I was like, you know what, realistically, I have like one or two pieces of furniture that I want to kind of paint and upcycle. But other than that, I'm pretty happy with the room. So I said I will do a little show around my master bedroom, like all my other room tours, Everything in here is secondhand and painted. There's actually no new pieces of furniture in here. So everything from like my bed, my lockers, everything is kind of thrifted. A lot of stuff is kind of free in here. Um, there's a mahogany cabinet that you will see when I show you around the bedroom. That is next on my to paint list. I also have a blanket box that's in bits that I really want to do. Um, every time I look at it, I'm like, I want to paint that. And yeah, monk's bench free, the table I'm actually sitting on free from a skip cabinet behind me. You might remember a lot of these from previous kind of painting videos. Even my pink chair was free and I've done a little job on it, but don't worry, I'm gonna to talk to you everything in the room as we're going through the video. So my big thing is you don't have to have lots of money to have cute stuff. If you're willing to get your, roll up your sleeves, get in, paint things, upcycle things, put your own stamp on things, you can have a room full of lovely stuff that's your style and you don't have to spend a fortune because Aside from my paint and a bit of elbow grease, that's all I've invested. My time, paint and elbow grease is all I've invested into this room. I think sometimes when people see like a pretty bedroom on like Instagram or you know, the blog, they kind of assume that it costs a lot of money to make and it's not achievable, but everything here is thrifted, painted and a budget friendly. So let's get into the video. I'm gonna show you around the bedroom. Um, I'll try and mention where things are from, but just bear in mind a lot of stuff is secondhand, so you might not be able to get it in shops. And I'll also talk you to the pieces and kind of where I got them as well. So let's get into the video. bed for 50 euro now my bed frame so basically I was like you know what I want to get a lovely bed because you know when you move into a house and I had I grew up sleeping in a single bed a single bed now no I'm small but it's a luxury to have like a double <laughs> bed so basically I'm gonna try and slot in a before picture I'm gonna have to like scroll back to my blog um, from previous years to try and find these pictures but it was basically just an orange pine bed frame. I think I got it for like 50 euro. It wasn't expensive. Painted it in an eggshell paint. I think a lot of the pieces in here is Authentico eggshell in vanilla. I haven't used that colour in ages, but I know at the time I was using a lot of that colour. So I painted the bed frame. There's only one or two chips, which is pretty decent. Um, nothing that a touch up job won't fix. And with the money I saved, I treated myself to a really good mattress. So I spent a lot of money on a mattress, but I saved it on the bed frame. Um, so yeah, I like the bed frame, and yeah, save myself a lot of money on it as well.
questions about this um, wardrobe behind me. I got it second hand and I got it locally. Um, Adverts.ie, done deal. They're great websites for just getting second hand furniture. So this was local and I think I paid, I think I might have paid 80 euro for it, but I haven't touched it. They had kind of painted it, it had gone chippy, it had gone shabby, and I just left it. I gave it a wash. I washed the inside of it because I've got some dresses in it and washed it down and I left it as is. This was one of the like first kind of things I'd like upcycled when I was on like an upcycling binge when I moved in. Um, but I used like the mouldings and I think the paint on this is Authentico Eggshell in the shade Vanilla. I think that's what that is. This dresser was also a cheap buy. Gonna say probably more than 50, less than 100, and I've done this years ago. I'd say it's about three years ago. I'll try and find a before picture as well. So it was when I was going through my decoupage um, phase and I wanted to decoupage everything. But it's standard, standard. It stood the test of time. So I have it here, and it's literally just where I keep all my knickers, basically. Yeah. Drawer for drawers. That's what that is. So the little cabinet that I have here, I actually got for free. And I got it back in, I'm going to say springtime. I remember it was like a dark evening when it came up. So basically, a lady I work with, one of her friends was throwing it out. She saw it was a lovely piece, didn't want to throw it out, and sent me a message. And I was like, I don't really have room, but I do have a space for here. And I'm always looking for stuff to store, you know, blankets and things like that. So storage. I said, yeah, you know what, I'll take it. So I'm thinking of doing it in my bedroom I have you know a lot of you know pinks and whites so I'm thinking maybe like a sage green to kind of complement it I'm not sure yet but I think I'm going to do something fun with it so it's in good condition um solid mahogany there's no woodworm it's actually a solid piece of furniture so everything has all the handles so I think I'm going to do something fun like maybe like a contrasting color on the inside so I'm going to get creative with this one The chair I am sitting on is the pink chair. Every time I post a picture of this pink chair, people ask me where I bought the pink chair. Get ready for one hell of a before picture. I got this chair for free. It, the fabric was like sun scorched, mismatched like cushions and everything. And I had no budget at the time. I done this chair about three or four years ago. I had no budget to reupholster. I had no experience with reupholstering. And I had seen someone chalk painting fabric. Now, I don't recommend chalk painting fabric for an everyday couch. So if you have sofas at home that you use every day, I wouldn't paint them. However, if you have something like a chaise long, um, a little love seat like this that isn't going to be sitting on, sitting on, that doesn't sat on, Basically a chair that, like obviously you can sit on it, bloody sits on it, but you run the risk of getting cracked. So I use loads of wax. I'll try and link the old blog post. But it has held up so well and everybody loves the pink chair. And it basically feels like denim. That's the only way to describe it. So it was like a, a cotton fabric. And when I, I done two coats of watered down chalk paint, waxed it. Um, so it feels like, denim that's the only way to describe it but the more wax you kind of put on the softer it feels so it took me about three or four days to do it and i i love it because it's just the pink chair and i basically saved something that was just going to go into the skip because structurally the chair was grand legs were perfect the fabric was good it was just the color so painting it made it just gave it a new lease of life and it's now the infamous pink chair I 
probably notice this corner behind me because it's, it's a nice setup for videos. But basically, I've got my china cabinets, and this is kind of like this is kind of how big my bedroom is. It's just I have an area that I can have a lounge area in my bedroom, which is fantastic. And um, so I have in this bay window, I have my couch, I have the china cabinet behind me, a few little trinkets, and then just there where you see another little table, that is like a really tiny like hall landing area where the stairs are to go downstairs. So that is that little area there. But I do have the luxury of having a mini lounge section in the bedroom. One of the things I loved this year was um, I had a Christmas tree in here and I don't know why I never thought of it. It was just, I was doing some brand collabs and I needed a second Christmas tree so I put it in the bedroom. So I'm excited to kind of get the tree back out this year. I think I'm gonna put it in that gap there. But I think it's just a funny layout of my house that made this extra big bedroom. But you know what, it's nice. I'm gonna bask in the luxury of having an extra big room. Um, I grew up in a very, very small room. <laughs> so I'm very appreciative of having a bigger master. I also have an ensuite connected, but it is full of junk. It's my storage area at the moment and I need to absolutely Got it. So that can be a separate video and also I get a lot of people wanting to see um, my wardrobes and dress spaces and I will hold my hands up, they are absolutely disgraceful. I do kind of have, the, the little shabby chic wardrobe has like good dresses, I have another wardrobe for everyday dresses, I also have dresses in other bedrooms and I need to do a big kind of organisation let's say. An organisation and a charity declutter, that's what I need to do. But that could be a separate video. I got done in this room was I got a light put in so basically this bedroom so the layout of my house it's like a dormer style bungalow so I've got two bedrooms downstairs which I have tours on one is an office and one is a square bedroom and then my upstairs bedroom it's really large and it's kind of like a funny shape my neighbor actually next door turned their bedroom into two bedrooms but I just kept mine as one because I don't need another bedroom but one of the big issues I had with this room and I would never spend time in this room was purely because the natural light was so bad and maybe I'm a flower but I need I need the sunshine to get the energy I just need light so I was saving up and then this year I bit the bullet and I got a Velux put in and it has been like night and day it has just and you know what it's so nice even at night time because you can if you're falling asleep obviously I'm on my bed I'm looking out the window you can see the stars and um, and it's even nice like it was raining last night and even listening to the noise of the rain banging off the window was just, it was just a tree. So if you have a room in your house that is lacking the light, I've tried everything, like I've got the nice reflective wallpaper, I've painted it in white, it still wasn't any brighter, but once I got that window put in, lifted everything, I just love it. It means as well, come winter, I have a better space that's lit to film, because obviously it's really hard to film videos here in the winter because it gets dark from like 4 p.m. So at least if I have that extra bit of light in this room, it'll be a good kind of room to like film and create in as well. It was also my first like builder thing to do in the house. Um, I haven't done anything like demolition-y. Um, so yeah, getting the a builder to, finding a builder, getting a builder to put it in. Um, it was a bit of a messy job um, because it was snowing when um, I planned to get my window in, so there was a lot of delays and yeah, it wasn't fun, but it was worth it in the end.
walkthrough of my master bedroom today. I'll keep an eye out for the pieces that I will hopefully eventually get around to painting. So my little mahogany cabinet and the blanket box. The blanket box, I think I'm going to strip the paint. So that's something I haven't done before. So that could be a fun how to strip the paint off video. Fingers crossed I do it right. I also have some other room tours. Um, I think I have a playlist for house tours and room tours, but basically I've done my kitchen, living room, office, spare bedroom. So if you want to check them out as well. Do let me know if there's kind of any other things you'd like to see, like if it's, you know, I've seen some fun videos where people show like their office desk, their makeup area, things like that. I generally, I'm not big into makeup things. So I actually don't do my makeup in this room. I actually do my makeup with the kitchen table and I have a makeup bag. I don't have it. It's still nothing fancy like that. I literally do my face whilst having a cup of tea in the morning. Also I've had a lot of you guys asking about bathrooms and um, coming soon <laughs> I'm gonna do like a mini freshen up of my downstairs bathroom. I actually bought a bath panel yesterday so I want to do little things in the bathroom, small budget um, but just to give you some ideas, so that's something I'm going to work on in the next kind of few months as well. Do let me know what was your favourite piece, what was your favourite trinket, teacup, whatever it was. You can find me on Instagram as well, I will pop my handle here where you can find me during the week as I'm only one week upload on YouTube. Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you are not already and I will see you all in next week's video. Bye everyone!